Hello, my name is Anna Melissa with HD Physics. We're here reporting for NPC News Online at the first form um, IFBB Pro San Luis show. show. We're here with Kendria J. Adams. J. Adams. Hi, Kendria. How are you? Hey, I'm doing well, thank you. How do you feel getting off the stage? I feel good. I feel really good. I really feel that this weekend gave me a chance to compete. That is what I'm here for, right? That's what I do all these competitions for. This being my third competition this year, um, and always, like I do each year, um, kind of like come in, you know, maybe a little rust theory, and then I just kind of glided on in. So I think today was my best showing, my best um, look on stage, and I think I'm actually um, being rewarded for that. So I actually had the chance to compete. So my viewers know I'm happy, you know, because they know of what all took place in my last um, uh, competition. Um, nevertheless, here we go, and um, it was great. It was awesome. What did you do differently from your last show to this show to improve your physique? Honestly, I continue on the same pattern that I was on um, three weeks ago. Um, I just continued on with my cardio. I continued on with, everyone knows I'm on a ketogenic diet, so I followed my ketogenic diet um, as I always do. Uh, increased my fats, of course, to sustain my weight throughout the last two, three weeks to maintain. Um, I'm actually a little lighter than what I normally am. Um, for example, today I am weighing in at 144, whereas the last show I weighed in at 147. So possibly now is giving a more leaner, harder look, or maybe harder but softer, or whatever the judges are looking for. But it just came in a little better than um, possibly what it was last go round. That's amazing. That's amazing. And who's your coach? Um, Team Phil Blow back in Atlanta. Excellent guy. Excellent. And he's also IFBB Pro men's physique as well. Is there any tip or motivation that you could share for the young ladies that are trying to get in this sport and look as amazing as you? You know what, my thing I say to most people, and they always ask me, why do you do so many shows or why do you do back-to-back -back competitions? Reason being is because when you're already in a good shape and you're already on a good meal plan, a good um, exercise program, hit them, hit them. If you're doing good, stay on that stay on that on that roll you know it's like a roller coaster it's a high but now when you decide to do a show every six months then you're going up you're going down you're going up you're going down so every time you step back on stage you're actually back at a starting off point you know and i mean honestly it's not good for our bodies either to bring our body fats up down up down you know um you know so often through the year but if you hit them all right at the same time frame then rest it but chances are one of those shows you're going to come in just right I love it. Is there any plans to other future sh shows for this year? I'm supposed to do the North Carolina next weekend, followed up with the um, New York Pro or the Optimum. I haven't decided yet. And then possibly the San Jose. I like competing. This is all I do. I'm a retired Army veteran, drill sergeant. So what else I have to do but compete and work out and take care of my eight-year-old son. So you'll see me again. <laughs> and of course, trying to step back on the Olympia stage for the third year in a row. There you go. Is there anyone you want to thank especially? Um, well, of course, you know my coach, Phil Blow, and um, all my lovely competitors that I compete with that I've known from the times we've been competing over the last two, three years. It's always awesome, always a good feeling getting back into the season and seeing everybody for the first time again. It's all hugs and ah, you know. And, and this, is, this is me. This is what I love doing. And, um, hey. and one last question. What is your favorite <laughs> cheat meal? Hmm. Last show, I made cauliflower pizza because I am on a ketogenic diet and I'm trying to make it more so than just a show prep um, meal plan. I'm trying to make it a lifestyle change because I'm loving it. And um, so that's where I'm at. But honestly, right now, I am craving macadamia nuts, almonds, and cashews. So I am going to get a handful of those from Whole Foods tomorrow. That's my cheat meal. Amazing. Here you have it. She's amazing. All right. Kendra J. Adams signing out. Yeah.